Kids, how did Aman and Anand survive in the jungle? They helped each other and stayed together. To satisfy their hunger, they ate the available fruits. They searched and drank stream water. They used cave as the hiding place to remain safe from the bear. They fought all odds and scared the bear using fire. So we see, in order to survive, we need to adapt to the changing environment or else we will not be alive. Like us, animals also need food, water and safe place to live and give birth to young ones. But it is not necessary that all of these will be available all the time in the same amount at a given place. Supply and amount of available water, food and safe place keeps changing. Hence, animals make changes in themselves to adjust to their surroundings. This process of adjustments to the surroundings is called as adaptation. Do you know why the camel is called as the ship of the desert? They can glide across desert sands with ease. Camel is one of the most important modes of transportation for people in desert areas. And how can camels survive such hot and dry climate of the desert? Let's look at its body structure. The camel has broad padded feet. They do not sink in the sand while walking, running in the desert. Its long legs help it move across the desert quicker and keeps the sand off the camel's stomach. You know that vegetation and even water is very less in the deserts? So how can camel, a herbivore, survive such hot and dry climate of the desert? The raised area on the back of the camel is called as hump. It stores food and water in its hump in form of body fat. Due to this, camels can live up to 10 to 12 days without water. And why does the camel have long eyelashes? The long eyelashes protects the camel's eyes from sand flying in air due to storms. It also keeps away the glaring sun rays from camel's eyes. To summarize, the big padded feet ensures the camels do not sink in the sand. Its long legs help it to move across the desert quicker and keep the sand off the camel's stomach. The hump stores the food for adverse conditions and the long eyelashes protect the eyes from sun rays and flying sand. Camel's body is adapted to the desert habitat. That is the reason it can survive in the desert. Living in India, why don't we see polar bear? Why are they found in Arctic regions only, where it's very cold? Polar bears live in very cold climates. It's Thick white fur keeps the bear warm in below freezing temperatures. Aman, you are not paying attention. Where is your mind? Sorry teacher. Ever since I returned from jungle, I often get nightmares. I see weird animals like huge elephants, big birds. Animals like half zebra, half horse. <laughs> silence, silence. No laughing, please. You know, actually, there were animals like these long, long ago. But now they are no more. Yes, it does sound strange, but thousands of years ago, very huge elephants-like animals used to live on earth. Not just that, an animal which was like half horse and half zebra also existed. This was the huge elephant-like animal called as woolly mammoth. You know, these animals could not adjust to changing environment. That is, they couldn't adapt and hence died. Now, none of them can be seen alive on the earth. And same thing in quagga. 
a mix of horse and zebra, which could not adapt and died. These could not adapt to the changing environment and hence became extinct. They all look so amazing. Don't you wish you could have seen them alive? Some more species that are no longer alive are dinosaurs. Now we see them only in photos and movies. These animals that are no longer seen are called as extinct animals. Why is wildlife decreasing? For housing development, people clear large numbers of forests. Forests are shrinking, leading to habitat loss for animals. Pollution also causes loss of animal life. Another reason for the decrease in animal life is hunting of animals for their meat, skin, fur, etc. Elephants are hunted for their ivory tusks, which is used for carving. Tigers are killed for their skin, hide. Rhinosaurs' horns are used for carving and medicinal purposes. What has happened to our national animal tiger? Very few number of these species are left. These animals are called as endangered animals. If we do not protect them, they will soon become extinct like dinosaurs. What does it mean? If an animal becomes extinct, you will never see them again, except for a pile of bones in the ground, or just in photos or some movies, not in real life. That would be very sad, isn't it? What is the difference between extinct and endangered? Extinction is the complete disappearance of a species, like dinosaurs, which are not seen on earth now. Endangered means that animals or plants whose numbers are so few, they are in danger of becoming extinct. What steps can we take to save endangered species? We should not disturb their natural habitat. There should be minimum interference from us, humans. Have you seen such signboards like goat crossing or deer crossing on the way while traveling or passing by some forest? These signs indicate the animal habitat nearby, so we should not disturb them. Poaching, that is hunting or killing animals for their skin, hide, fur, meat or horn, has been banned and is a punishable offence. Let's live peacefully and let animals also live too.